Investing is a journey, not a sprint. It's a marathon that requires patience, strategy, and a long-term vision. It's about growing your wealth steadily over time, much like how a cricket team builds its innings run by run. Dividends play a crucial role in this journey, acting as a steady hand, guiding you through the ups and downs of the market. They provide a regular income stream from your investments, much like a reliable player consistently scoring runs. This income can be reinvested to buy more shares, compounding your returns over the long term. Think of it as a player improving their skills with each practice session. Imagine a tree bearing fruit. Dividends are like those fruits, a reward for being a patient investor. The more you nurture your investments, the more fruitful they become. Remember, successful investing is not just about picking the right stocks. It's about having a well-rounded strategy that includes understanding the power of dividends. It's also about understanding how different factors like dividends contribute to long-term wealth creation. Just as a cricket team reviews its performance to improve, you should review your investment strategy regularly. By incorporating dividend-paying stocks into your portfolio, you create an additional avenue for generating returns. This can be a game-changer in your financial journey. This approach can be particularly beneficial in volatile market conditions, providing a cushion against market fluctuations and ensuring a steady income stream. What exactly are dividends? Let's dive into this financial term using a cricket analogy. Simply put, dividends are a portion of a company's profits distributed to its shareholders. Think of it as a cricket team sharing their victory spoils with their fans. When a company makes a profit, it has a few options. Just like a cricket team deciding their next move after a win. It can reinvest the profits back into the business for expansion or research and development. This is similar to a cricket team investing in better training facilities or new equipment. Alternatively, it can choose to share a portion of these profits with its shareholders. And this is called a dividend. Imagine the team sharing their prize money with their loyal supporters. Dividends are typically paid in cash, directly to your brokerage account. It's like receiving a direct reward for your support. The amount of dividend you receive depends on the dividend per share declared by the company and the number of shares you own. The more shares you have, the bigger your share of the profits. For example, if a company declares a dividend of 10 rupees per share and you own 100 shares, you will receive a dividend of 1000 rupees. It's like a cricket fan getting a share of the prize money based on their level of support. Dividends can be a great way to earn passive income, much like how cricket fans enjoy the rewards of their team's success without playing the game themselves. So, next time you hear about dividends, think of it as a celebration of a company's success, shared with its loyal supporters, just like a cricket team shares its victory with its fans. The announcement of a dividend often creates a buzz in the market. This is known as the dividend announcement effect. When a company announces a dividend, it signals confidence in its future earnings potential. This positive sentiment can lead to an increase in demand for the stock, potentially driving up its price. However, it's important to note that the dividend announcement effect is generally short-lived. The actual impact of a dividend on the stock price is observed on the ex-dividend date. This is the first trading day on which a buyer of the stock is not entitled to receive the declared dividend. Let's take the example of ITC Limited, a blue chip company listed on the Nifty 50 index. ITC is known for its consistent dividend payouts over the years. This makes it a favorite among investors seeking regular income from their investments. ITC's strong dividend track record can be attributed to its robust business model and diversified revenue streams. The company has a strong presence in various sectors like cigarettes, FMCG, hotels and agribusiness. This diversification helps ITC generate steady cash flows, enabling it to reward its shareholders with consistent dividends. Section 5. Technical Analysis Spotting Dividend Opportunities While fundamental analysis helps understand a company's financial health and dividend sustainability, technical analysis can provide insights into potential trading opportunities around dividend announcements. 
technical analysts study historical price charts and trading volumes to identify patterns and trends. One common technical indicator used by dividend investors is the Moving Average Convergence Divergence or MACD. This indicator can help identify potential buy and sell signals based on the convergence and divergence of moving averages. Another popular indicator is the Relative Strength Index or RSI, which measures the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate overbought or oversold conditions. Section 6 Fundamental Analysis – Ensuring Sustainable Dividends In this section, we will explore the importance of ensuring that dividends are not just attractive in the short term, but sustainable over the long haul. While a high dividend yield might seem attractive, it's crucial to analyze whether the company can sustain those dividends in the long run. This involves looking beyond the surface numbers and understanding the underlying financial health of the company. This is where fundamental analysis comes in. Fundamental analysis is a comprehensive method that helps investors evaluate a company's intrinsic value by examining related economic, financial, and other qualitative and quantitative factors. Fundamental analysts delve into a company's financial statements, studying key ratios and metrics to assess its financial health and earnings potential. They look at balance sheets, income statements, and cash flow statements to get a complete picture. One important ratio to consider is the dividend payout ratio, which measures the proportion of earnings paid out as dividends. This ratio helps investors understand how much of the company's profit is being returned to shareholders versus being reinvested in the business. A high dividend payout ratio, especially if it exceeds 100%, might indicate that the company is paying out more in dividends than it can afford. This could be a red flag, suggesting that the company might struggle to maintain its dividend payments in the future. Other key ratios include return on equity or ROE, debt to equity ratio and free cash flow. ROE measures how effectively management is using a company's assets to create profits. The debt to equity ratio helps assess a company's financial leverage and risk, while free cash flow indicates the cash a company generates after accounting for capital expenditures, which is crucial for sustaining dividends. Section 7. Dividends and Long-Term Investment Strategies Dividends form a cornerstone of long-term investment strategies. While short-term traders might focus on capital appreciation, Long-term investors understand the power of compounding and the importance of a regular income stream. Dividend-paying stocks can be particularly beneficial for retired individuals seeking a steady income stream from their investments. Moreover, dividends can act as a cushion during market downturns. When stock prices fall, dividend payments can provide some relief, mitigating losses and offering psychological comfort to investors. By focusing on companies with a history of consistent dividend growth, investors can potentially outperform the market in the long run. Section 8. Dividend Reinvestment – Compounding Your Returns One of the most powerful aspects of dividend investing is the ability to reinvest those dividends to buy more shares. This is known as dividend reinvestment. By reinvesting your dividends, you are essentially buying more of the underlying asset, accelerating the compounding process. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill. As it rolls, it gathers more snow, getting bigger and bigger. Dividend reinvestment works in a similar way. Each reinvested dividend buys you more shares, which in turn generate more dividends, creating a virtuous cycle of growth. Section 9. Risks and Considerations beyond the dividend yield. While dividends offer numerous benefits, it's essential to approach dividend investing with a balanced perspective. A high dividend yield is not always a guarantee of a good investment. Sometimes, a high dividend yield can be a red flag, indicating that the company is facing financial difficulties and might cut its dividend in the future. Therefore, it's crucial to look beyond the dividend yield and analyze the company's overall financial health, its competitive position in the industry, and its future growth prospects. Diversification is key. Don't put all your eggs in one basket just because it offers a high dividend. 
Section 10. Conclusion Dividends A vital piece of the investment puzzle. In conclusion, dividends are an integral part of a well-rounded investment strategy. They provide a regular income stream, offer the potential for compounding returns through reinvestment and can act as a cushion during market downturns. However, it's crucial to approach dividend investing with a discerning eye. Don't get swayed by high dividend yields alone. Analyze the company's fundamentals, assess its dividend sustainability and ensure that it aligns with your overall investment goals and risk tolerance. Remember, successful investing is a marathon, not a sprint, and dividends can be a valuable tool in your journey towards long-term wealth creation.